What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wrap. So today I have a surprise for Will It Wrap. I have a goalie mask right in front of you here. We're gonna be wrapping this in more than one piece because you cannot wrap this thing in one piece. Maybe you could, it probably won't last very long. I wouldn't trust it. On top of that, we're gonna be doing this in chrome and gloss carbon fiber. Uh, gloss carbon fiber, vivid epoxy carbon fiber, and the chrome is gonna be hexus titanium chrome. Now, if you guys are looking for some new videos, exclusive content, discussion board, forum board, giveaways, that sort of thing, don't forget to check out my new website, ckwraps.com. I'll put a link up in the top corner and in the description below for you. Right behind me, I have those beautiful vinyl wall racks. I have a video on how to make those for a very inexpensive price uh, and basically showing you all the way through where to get them, how to do it, how to install it, and what it looks like. Uh, all right, so let's move forward here. We've got a few things that we need. We're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna need blades, squeegee, heat gun, that sort of thing. Uh, pretty standard when it comes to wrapping. Get yourself a glove, knifeless tape, so I don't have to cut on the mask. Even, I mean, it's pretty scratched up. We're not cutting on car paint here. Um, <laughs> I could probably cut it very, with low risk of anything happening, but again, having the knifeless tape might even give you a better, straighter cut. Uh, how, how well will the knifeless tape cut through the films? These are thicker films, should be fine, but we'll see in the end. If it doesn't turn out good, we always try it in something else. Uh, again, so so far as, as far as getting creative with this, you can do this in multiple colors if you want to uh, in order to hide the seams on something like this. This back piece right here, I'm gonna wrap that. Should be okay in one piece. I'm gonna try it. Um, it's gonna, this, part, this part's gonna be epoxy carbon fiber. I'm gonna do this piece, the neck guard, in epoxy carbon fiber. And I'm gonna do the cranium right here on the top in epoxy carbon fiber. I thought that would look pretty cool. Uh, while the sides basically across the face is gonna get wrapped in the titanium chrome. So we're gonna have a bit of titanium chrome right across the whole front end. Top is gonna be carbon fiber, kind of like, look like a brain maybe. And same thing with the back, kind of open like the brain. I thought it would look really cool. Uh, as far as the neck guard goes, I figured the carbon fiber would tie in well with that too. Let's do it. So grab my microfiber cloth, isopropyl alcohol, Let's mist the cloth down. Let's get this uh, degreased or de-sweated, basically. It's gonna probably have a lot of, uh, it's had a lot of wear and tear, I'm sure. We're gonna clean in these holes right here. I'm gonna move the camera in very shortly. I just wanna show you what I'm doing as far as cleaning goes. Uh, how far around the, these edges and things like that can I wrap? It will be kind of limited to the chrome. Uh, luckily, I'm working with a black helmet here, a black mask. Uh, it's gonna mean that I don't really have to tuck in and around in all these areas right here. We can kind of leave them just black. Um, not that you'd see it. If it was red or something like that, yes, I would wanna have to wrap in a little bit further, but we're not gonna have to do that on this mask. It's gonna be a little simpler. Thank God it's black. It's, it's gonna save me a bit of time. Uh, again, just doing this from a good friend of mine. Thought I'd make a cool video on doing it. He offered it up, but I was like, cool, let's do it. So I'll show you guys what to do. All right, so let's bring the camera in. Why not start on the hardest part first, which is this piece right here. I feel like the other piece is gonna be quite a bit easier. Um, choice between putting the chrome down first or after, totally up to you. Uh, it might be better to lay the chrome first and then put the easier part over top, which I think will be the, the gloss carbon fiber on the top section here. So basically I'm gonna run the, carb the carbon fiber sort of along this body line right here. It does trail off a little bit, but I'm gonna have it run through and then straight down the sides here, just making my own body line basically with it. Let's do this. Kind of not really sure where to start myself. So with things being not mounted to uh, a panel or a car or a wall or anything like that, it makes it a little bit more difficult because it's gonna move around quite a bit. Uh, so we're gonna do our best here in order to get this down and around. Let's do the, let's do the chrome first and let's get the knifeless tape down. So I'm just gonna take this, line it up the best place that I feel like will work. So something like that. Symmetry is very important. Just looking at it. Now I'm gonna look at it from the back side here so I can make sure everything stays nice and pretty and uniform. Cool. Now I have done one of these way long ago, probably like four or five years ago. Um, I did do a seam in a very similar place and I did it in one solid color. So um, kind of choice is kind of yours on how you want to do this. There isn't really a right or a wrong. Sometimes there's just a better way. Is my way better? I don't know, but I am doing it two-tone, so this will um, hide things a little bit more. Okay, so as we see, we've got the knifeless tape down. 
let's get into the fun stuff now. Let's put, I'm gonna wrap the knife with tape around the inside so it doesn't get tangled up in anything. And we're gonna wrap this bad boy. Let's size up our film right here. Okay, we wanna make sure we've got enough, but not too much. Too much will burden you. I'm gonna cut this off. Let's make sure we're good. Excellent. So this is, the, this is the titanium chrome. Now you are gonna see some swirl marks on it and stuff like that, yes. I mean, it is a goalie mask, it's probably gonna get a little worked. As you can see, it's got, it already had some dents and dings in it, no big deal. We wanna start this off by removing the protective cap. Now this film has a protective cap. I like removing it by putting a little slit and then tearing the film slightly on that slit which allows the cap to kind of come off in a separate piece. And I just use my blade to dig underneath it. So I get my knife underneath it, peel that off. It's more meant for shipping purposes as opposed to installation purposes, because you cannot stretch this stuff. Time to remove the release liner, which is plastic on this. Now this film is very sticky, so it's gonna be very challenging. Take it and just sort of drape it over, okay? So what we can see here is sort of the film wanting to take a bit of the shape. Now this is gonna be really hard, all right? Uh, simply because, again, this mask is moving. I'm not even sure how well I'm gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna, again, give it a try because I like trying new things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to add heat without burning this film. I'm gonna hold down one end over here and try to stretch this across. It's not really working for me right now. Let's try another way here. Let's try to pivot it more towards you. It's, it's difficult to get it tight around it, and, we, and that's what we need to do, right? I'm not really absolutely sure. This is, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my knee on it, on the other side, anchor it down, and now I should be able to put both hands on it and pull. See, you gotta improvise. Now I'll be able to have two hands on it, which will help with the keeping it flat through this entire process of stretching it across. It's a lot of fun. It's still very difficult. Just doesn't want to stay. I'm just kneeling down on the side of the film that's touching the table on this side. We only have so many tries here. As we keep trying this, we might keep marking the film, so we've gotta be careful. I'm gonna try and kneel down a bit again. Let's do this one more time. Let's see if we can do it. I seriously need a lot more stretch than what I've got right now. It's not even close. Do this another piece, then I will. I'll try it. I'm gonna see how it goes though. It's taken a bit of shape. Not exactly where I want it yet at all, but we're getting there a little bit. I need to glass this out over here. I've got quite a few wrinkles in the front. Last thing we want to do is put marks in this. Um, it'll just kind of ruin the whole finish. If I have to come down a little further with the gloss carbon fiber, then I will. 
So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I just have to multiple piece it. Um, and we're gonna figure it out though. I'm gonna figure out what way looks the best. And again, this is, I've never done this before. I'm just kind of improvising here, right? It's moving too much. flat extra hands would definitely help please nobody ever asked me for for a chrome goalie mask wrap taking some shape all right I'm gonna switch knees because I'm getting a little tired from that one Gotta come more across the top. It's just moving so much, guys. It's really, that really makes it a challenge. I think even if I had someone holding it, it's not gonna really help all that much. It's getting there, I'm not seeing any, really any damage yet. I'm just gonna look at it. Whew, all right. Yeah, it'll break. I'm gonna move the table in. Get a little closer for you. There we go. Okay, so down here, I'm just looking at what's happening here. So what I need to do is I need to hold it here. I need to heat it. Hold it. Once I get this bottom section done, it'll be a little bit easier. I feel like it will be. I just gotta really avoid these guys right here. These guys are really challenging. Okay, I have to let it cool a little bit. I don't want to put my hands on it too much because um, I'll leave finger marks in it. I don't want to do that. Let's try that again. Let's heat that area. I can, I can lean across the face here with my arm, just helping holding it down. better. Whew. Push down on those. Get those out. Okay, I'm getting down to that lower chin area over there. That's good. That's where I wanted to get to. It's going to make things easier when I can kind of get rid of this section and get that done. I'm probably going to have to put a seam across the lower side right here somewhere. I uh, might just have to come down with the carbon fiber. Getting there though. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna continue. Probably gonna, I would say I'd like to trim some away, but I think I wanna kneel down on it. So I'm gonna pull this back a little bit here because I have to flatten this out. See, I don't wanna trim it away yet because I wanna be able to kneel down on this side over here where we've got all the extra material. So I do have to stretch a little bit more heavily across the cranium top part here. I feel like I should be able to sit on this, it'd probably be better. Here, we also have a lot of bunching, so I'm gonna be able to bring the film up a little bit, but then I'm gonna have to cut it off freehand because I'm not gonna make the knifeless tape, not like I thought. This is where being able to cut on top of um, panels and stuff like that comes in handy without actually cutting through. 
Um, again, not that I'm really too worried about damaging the mask. It's not, uh, it's not uh, any kind of issue with this one because it's a bit worked. If it was brand new, that'd be a different story. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting my arms on this and holding it down because I'm gonna cut off all of this right here. Try and do all this all at once, it's difficult. I don't really know what would work well to uh, hold this mask down. I don't really have anything in the shop that, would, that, I, that I could find. That would have worked well. So if you guys have an idea for next time, maybe you can throw some suggestions in the comments below uh, what I could have used to hold this mask down because really, I couldn't think of anything other than how to look around, so couldn't see anything. Uh, we're almost there though. I'm really, when I heat, I'm just warming the film enough to be able to stretch it flat. And I don't want to stretch it more than just flat. I just want to get it flat and that's it. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking really good all the way through here. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to start getting to the end, which is going to make things a bit more difficult. So what I'm going to do is put a towel down on the other side here. But I want to get the other side down first before I start crunching it all down. Okay, so let's kneel down on this. Let's pull it back. Let's do this side now. So I have to deal with the same thing all over again. I'm gonna kneel down. I'm just trying to find a good spot. It's definitely killer on the back. Right here requires a ton of stretch. Try to keep everything sort of symmetrical here. Very difficult. Whew. Trying really hard here, guys. Okay. Don't want to go too far on the bottom yet. I'm going to catch the top up over here. kind of glad I have exactly, I have enough film here because it would have been hard if I had any less film. I'm glad I had the extra. Just gonna bring that up a little bit here. Yeah. And I gotta flatten it out, pull across. Okay, it's coming pretty good. One wrinkle right here, guys. Can I get it out? It's got a little air trapped in it. Damn it. It has a little bit of air. I just can't get it out. It would have been so good. I could have just got that all in one shot right there. Let me see if I can just put it down cold without it moving too much from what I just had it at. I don't want to really heat it again. See, the vinyl just slipped in my knee. down here. That was too much pull. I gotta get this locked in. That's what I gotta do. Whew. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. This air out of here. It's a bit of a recess right here. Speed it a bit. Right there. It's a very small recess, not too worried about it.
but they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She lays the flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eatin' plenty, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is in Mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Wish my heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen like Taylor Cloudy or the poison ivy. With from like a stroller with a coast sign. Me, I don't even like me. No, I'm staring in the mirror in different rules, this nigga. He claimed me the realest to shy, but timid. The riddles were fingers, they simple minded. Find a road to top, I'm taking it. From the ground, now we paving it. Hella bows for when I'm feeling late. Too much on my face, then they take a shit. Yeah, new sounds, I make a facelift. I'm in a new town, I make the waves splish. New town, and we accruing down. That's why I run the game until my shoe was calloused on a loose gravel. Keep the flame lit. I relay the message, nobody better. I'm bringing them careless, I want it forever, but I want whatever. Cause these days, I've been doing things my way. Bitch, I got it made. Yeah, things been going my way. Yeah. Hope the feeling don't fade. Yeah, Dream money any day. Ain't no telling why I live. Probably someone in the waves. Things been going my way. Yeah, Hope the feeling don't fade. No, no. Dream money any day. Ain't no telling why I live. Probably someone in the waves. Wave. Why they so negative? How I edit it, then my life just like it's precious Just give me the mic and light it under lights I put a knife and pressure, they fabricate it Yeah, I been as quick to set them straight Yeah, a nigga next to that name California on the birth certificate How we clean it, they ain't seen the wave How we painted on the level up With the tattered garments, been a starving artist It's like 09, that was go with time, fuck a clothes man That's where my heart is hard, ain't need a place, man For my family's sake, I've been through some things Make a better way, why do I put out a place here? Why are they all in my face? Nobody better with the rhetoric Too much your core with the predicates West side, west side Right? But I'm hating bitch ass niggas quick to switch I tell them to behave From the attic to the airwaves Give me five for the airplay Multi-mini rockin' money plotting Going up yeah I just elevated Staircase I'm headed to the paper print for this is how we folded planes Now we gone let them serenade I see the chief for better days I been down and out I need a change I flip it into a dollar Flip with my people fuck that hatred they dismissing evil Yeah we are equal I point out the obvious They carbon they copy us Rose gold the neck is decorated Scream the power to the populace Want it all but nothing opposite yeah. Cause these days I've been doing things my way I can't hide away, it made me feel the salt of my face Bitch, I got it made yeah. Things been going my way yeah. Hope the feeling don't fade Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah LABB who we running with, yeah 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah State your name, big been dope on flame I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass Slab on everything, swimming you sinking away Cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming Uh-uh, uh, coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah L.A. B.B. who we running with, yeah, 2 2 three, three, I'm on 10 again Pump up the action, I'm active If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping, Jackson's off the rapping, keep it on my body, bitch, I'm broke if you ask it Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless, broke your whips as long as it is foreign Heard you wanna cause the game's enormous, what's in since she isn't gorgeous Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman, trying to touch a forest Do not know we're knocking on the door, it's came in, I came in, I came in Did it like the Porsches, coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah L.A. B.B. who we running with, yeah, 2 2 3, three I'm on 10 again, okay, alright 
coming in, yeah Flex, I just wanna win, yeah L.A.B.B. who we running with, yeah Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten, 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 yeah All right, guys, so here we have it. Goalie face mask, back cranium protector, and neck guard, all wrapped. Uh, the chrome is just across the face. I'm gonna bring you in to see all of this stuff. The carbon fiber is Vivid Epoxy Carbon Fiber. This is for interior use only. Um, this is just for a hockey mask, so I don't imagine it's gonna be getting all that wet. It might get a little wet, but it's not gonna do anything. It's not like the weather outside. So. Chances of water getting in between the laminate, pretty low. It could happen, sure. Uh, did do this as a favor. The thing looks amazing. Uh, kind of wish I owned it now. Um, but I'm gonna bring you in and have a look at this stuff because it looks freaking amazing. Uh, I'm gonna explain a couple of things here, what I did, and that's gonna be it. All right, so these were not perfect to begin with. Um, it's been used, not lightly, heavily used. Um, so there is some imperfections in the actual finish. Um, the seam runs right across here. I have a secondary strip that runs right across here for the chrome. Couldn't make it. I thought I could make it all the way up to the top here by pulling the film across heavy enough. Wasn't able to do it. Uh, it was next to impossible actually, uh, especially with the goalie mask moving around. Very difficult. On the inner edge here, the edge is very, very, very rough. Uh, I mean, this is just fiberglass, right? So I believe it's fiberglass. Um, so, I mean, it's not terribly smooth as far as the finish goes. I did have to post heat quite a bit, uh, especially around the bottom edges and stuff like that, but in the end it came out really good. Uh, some of the holes are a little bit rough, so when it came to trimming it was a bit tough. Check out the carbon fiber on top, looks friggin' amazing. I love it, I think it's gonna look amazing when the, when the back piece goes on. So with this back piece right here, you're gonna notice that I left the actual holes completely covered. Um, chances of these breaking or getting pushed through. I mean, it's possible. My only concern was because I had to very heavily stretch the film across here, if I tried it once and I messed it up, well, I didn't mess it up really, because I have to stretch so heavily across these holes that when I cut them, the vinyl wants to expand outwards. And so that's what happened. So I, I redid this piece twice uh, because it, it, I tried cutting out the holes and when I added heat, it was just expanding outwards. Uh, the, again, the paint on the finish of this is not all that glossy and all that smooth, so the energy level is a little bit lower. Uh, on top of that, the film is very thick, and I did have to have to heavily stretch it across, right? So a lot of things kind of weigh in as far as the factors go here in um, having it last, so I just decided to leave them covered. I'll have to do with a bit of a less ex exhaust at the back of his head there. Uh, this piece, again, this is just the neck guard. I didn't cut out the actual holes yet for the sides there for the strap, but we'll do that just very shortly. Uh, again, not a perfect piece, it has been heavily used, but again, turned out friggin' amazing. There's the inside there, uh, nice, nice clean straight cut all the way through. Nothing really overlapped around the backside, as you can see there. Don't really need to. This piece is actually pretty straightforward as far as wrapping goes. So what I'll do is I'll finish up cutting out those little holes there so you can lace that back up and uh, give it a wipe down, get all my fingerprints off of it. I haven't done that yet. And that's it. So I just want to show you guys what I did here. So this goalie mask is three pieces. One, two, three. I uh, could have done it all in chrome, sure. I like the carbon fiber on top. I think it looks freaking amazing. It looks like his brain. All right, guys, and there you have it. I hope the video uh, was a bit informative. I lost the audio, battery died. I believe the battery died. So I have new mics. They seem to be chewing through batteries, so I'm gonna have to get some new ones. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. I did try to do my best as far as uh, having some instruction goes, but we lost it, so I'm gonna time lapse. I time lapse most of it, and that's it. I'm looking forward to doing some more videos for you guys. Um, I know the film will hold up on this pretty well. I've tested it with heat, I checked it over, made sure everything was uh, very stable, very strong, nothing was pulling back back before I cut. Very important stuff to do. Always check your work before you cut. Then you can cut when you make when you know for sure that the film is not going to pull back anymore. Anyways guys, anyways guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Take care.